September 16th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Three systems remain active around the world at this time, that's named storms, Hurricane Kiko, Humberto and Pepa across different basins around the world. Day 259 of the year so far, 59 storms have now formed so far this year. Day 107 in the Atlantic, Humberto of course is intensifying on the cusp of reaching hurricane status and Invest 97L out over the open ocean. Day 124 in the Eastern Pacific, Kiko, a Category 4 earlier, we're now putting down to Category 3 again, uh, weakening appears to be beginning. And in the Western Pacific, Tropical Storm Paper looks terrible, and 2 Invest to its north still active. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time though, it's all quiet here. The main feature is, her is Tropical Storm Humberto, almost a hurricane, 70 miles per hour, pressure 988 millibars. National Hurricane Center might even upgrade it to a hurricane at the advisory at 11 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. 159 miles from Cooperstown at this point in the Bahamas, 29.2 north, 77.6 degrees west. So we expect it to become a hurricane soon, uh, begin to make that turn towards the east and start to accelerate later on in the week. And then it will head towards Bermuda, which is the next area that we're going to be watching quite closely. Models taking the storm very close, uncomfortably close to the island, possibly as a Category 2, maybe even higher. That might be a conservative forecast that we just saw on the screen. So here's the imagery uh, with the wind shear values, marginal at best at this point. Uh, but you can see what is happening underneath there, uh, potential eye forming, or an actual eye forming I should say, where the eye wall completes itself remains to be seen, but certainly the developings here of a significant hurricane thankfully will be moving away from the American continent. The North Atlantic, wide shot here, so you can see Umberto uh, gaining influence in the western part of the Atlantic. Uh, further east, you've got a disturbance there near the Lesser Antilles, and you've got Invest 97L now, which is that other disturbance to its southeast, quite low latitude. That has an 80% chance of development in the next five days. Could be our next significant tropical storm, or even hurricane, uh, in the uh, central to northern part of the Atlantic later on. The Eastern Pacific, looking like this, Kiko quite unmistakable there, looked fantastic earlier today, Category 4 quite clearly, probably down to Category 3 now with an eye clouding over and uh, potentially about to collapse. Elsewhere you've got a few other disturbances that could develop soon, there's some generally littered all across the Eastern Pacific really, and even into the Western Pacific we've got a few disturbances knocking about as well. Uh, paper looks terrible, um, the convection is over 200 miles displaced to the south of the centre of its circulation at this point, which is well north of the Mariana Islands, but the islands themselves getting copious amounts of rainfall, and those two invest further north which are really starting to look very frontal and probably don't have much time left at all. The Australian and South Pacific region looks like this at this point. Um, just a few smatterings of thunderstorms occurring along the Solomon Islands. And in the Indian Ocean it's equally quiet really. Uh, not much going on over land areas at all. A few thunderstorms developing over the Bay of Bengal. Um, still though, models hinting at possible development down the line in a week or two. Sea surface temperatures look like this, where Kiko is, it's starting to run out of real estate for those sea surface temperatures, 28 degrees, it'll start to drop very soon. In the Atlantic, where Humberto is, very warm still, 28 degrees plus. The Gulf of Mexico still untapped, as is the Western Caribbean. If we do get any storms in there, that's bad news, 30 degrees plus. And over there in the Indian Ocean, actually warming up again quite a bit there in the Bay of Bengal in particular, around 28, getting on for 29, 30 degrees Celsius. Over in the Western Pacific, a little bit cooler in the Philippine Sea, but further east, near the Mariana Islands, that's still the hot spot, 30, degree, 30 degrees plus, same too along the coast of southern China. Here is a close-up of Tropical Storm Pipa, which is currently located to the north of the northern Mariana Islands. Um, as you can see, it's a dead swirl at this point, you would suggest. It was named by the Japanese Meteorological Agency in the last 12 to 24 hours, and all of that convection well towards the south, triggering flood warnings and special statements in places like Guam. 
Humberto looking like this. Um, thankfully, most of the Bahamas getting away with very little amounts of rain, obviously still a massive recovery operation going on there uh, in the aftermath of Dorian, but Humberto moving away and that will become more pronounced later on. Still, surf could be an issue along the coast of the US rip currents. So here we are right now, the next name in the Atlantic will be Imelda in the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Lorena. In the Central Pacific, the next name on the list is Ima. Over there in the Western Pacific, the next name on the list here is Tapa. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out on list 8 for Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. Find our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us under the same name on Facebook and Twitter if you'd like to get in touch on any of those platforms. That's all for now. We will have another Tropical Weather Bulletin, as always, tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.